I don't get it. So I says to the guy, you give me the five dollars to take you up and down the cherry picker for two minutes. That was not much of a joke. It was way funnier a minute ago in my head. But because well, you already said it, like we had that whole conversation before the we started recording, and then yeah, just yeah. <laughs> Like, the adult version of lots of kids' things already exists. The adult version of Nerf guns is just guns. Oh, well, that's not true. Paintball is, like, the adult version of Nerf guns. Not the way I play it. <laughs> Have you ever played paintball? <laughs> uh, once, with, with friends, but not in, like, in any kind of organized context. Oh, I'd be mean, great if you had, like, organized paintball scenarios. Like... If you had a, a big warehouse and, like, dudes inside the warehouse guarding the files, and you had to get in and steal the files, and you, like, went in all, uh, Mission Commando Impossible. Style. You had, like, bungee cords and, you know, I don't know, com communicator watches and yeah. stuff. <laughs> if you had some kind of black guy in a helicopter to help you out. <laughs> This this was re this was almost reasonable until we had to have a helicopter. <laughs> this be this until we had to have a black guy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Every time I bring this idea up to my black friends, they're like, "Fuck you, man." <laughs> that is completely unreasonable. <laughs> Half the time they say I'm too old for this shit, and they're you're younger than me. Like, I'm you don't even look older like... than you. <laughs> you don't even look like Danny Glover. Uh. Hey, let's load this game. <laughs> oh yeah, we can start the game. Black people are an unreasonable requirement. Wait. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Ow. Uh. uh oh. Why is it all black and white? Are we, have we really gone so far back in time? That there's no longer color photography? Is Lars that old? What year even is it in this game? Does it matter? It's 1996, right? I guess. No, wait. 1994? Something like that. Ow. All that laughing made my teeth hurt really bad. If it's 1994 and Lars is 10 years old, he was born in 84. I'm pretty sure they had color photography. His parents probably set a really old before. camera. Don't yeah, even talk old. to me about how film is the part that matters for that. <laughs> Had an old brownie camera. <laughs> he smiled just from hearing his own name. Are, are they like shouting this from the other <laughs> room or something? <laughs> This is actually the burglars outside the window talking. <laughs> hey, yo, Who's hey, yo, rocking this crim? It's oh, God. <laughs> Todd. Todd, look at this baby. Don't this baby look like a lot like a laws to you? They have an automatically rocking crim, but not color photography. They're, they're spending money on what matters, man. Them. Oh. <laughs> So we're doing a whole thing here. But he's had that hat ever since he was... Whoa. What? Yeah. That dog is old, man. Well, we, we really don't know how old Lars is. I mean, if Lars is... <laughs> okay, first of all... <laughs> Let's celebrate with some capital S steak. <laughs> some steak. <laughs> we totally should have put whiskey in there or something. Shots all around. <laughs> this baby. 
What if this baby Maybe grows up to be an indolent up, fat ass? Yeah. Thoughtful and strong. Living the dream, mom and dad. Hmm? Uh-oh. He's a creeper, baby. Oh. So much for that. Uh... Hey, what's you're up? Ob you're obviously dreaming. There's no absolutely nothing surprising about this at all. Uh, hey man. So Don't talk to that guy. Nope. Just move along. Move along. Why don't you explore your mind? Take your time. Whoa. Whatever changes every time I talk to this guy. Nope. Oh man. I like the other color scheme better. Yeah, this this is gross. Try eating one of those giant tomatoes. Okay. Maybe they're like uh, Alice in Wonderland type. Uh, what did she eat that made her huge? Uh, an apple or something, right? Or was it a pill? Yeah! I can't remember. Smoking butterflies in the realm of my mind. I feel like it was like a piece of cake or something. That sounds right. Like a tea cake or something. Yeah. I gotta set a timer. We're gonna be doing this for five hours. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. kid. Hit this butterfly. If we did this for five hours, we might finish it in some reasonable amount of time. Chi 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 chi. Okay. Oh. Yeah, on no. was okay, I guess. Oh. Well, I mean, you know, ever since that meteor hit, shit's been just going haywire. So. Uh. Oh! That sign. Hey, man. Here's have a face. Oh! Lars! Did, Did you, you learn... learn how to tell what I'm indicating? Dude, I need you to put your pants back on. Uh, <laughs> I hey need guys. you to put your legs back on, and once you've done that, put your pants back on. I think this... This flower is giving me bad advice. Dude, that flower's talking to me. <laughs> flower. Flower, look, that's you should put on some sunglasses. That's that's not good. You're gonna mess up your eyes. So this is Lars' mind is a lot like a garden. Does he have like a does he have a garden in real life? Doesn't look like it. I mean, what's up with all this garden imagery? I don't know. Hey mom. Yes, I am tired. Alright, sounds great. We brought a couch, a table, and a lamp to this <laughs> outdoor to this, setting. To this brain realm. Oh, hey, what's up? Brother Lars, it sounds like you're, uh, you're both part of the same cult or something. Brother Lars. Cool, so we can, we can drop stuff off with her if we need to. Did you talk to the old man with a cane yet? Uh, yeah, I think so. He just right. talked. We talked about the Sea of Eden, which is at the center of our feelings. Uh... Doesn't that guy teleport you? Hey. Bars. I can't do anything more. Th thanks for creeping behind the. Oh. Uh. Bars, huh. don't ask me what I'm doing behind this bush. <laughs> don't look at my hands. It's not for you. It's for that character. Okay, go, go inside one of the pyramids. See what's up with that. Uh, uh hey man. Sounds good. So, is that thing transparent? Or is it drawn on the wall and the floor? But on the floor, it's drawn so that the angle, it doesn't transform with the perspective. It all looks like one... I don't know, and I don't care. Like, we can see through whatever that thing is. Too late, right? none. I can only... I think I can only pull out... Yeah. 
Ching ching. Mm. Gotta get that Skrilla. Oh. <laughs> I'm carrying maximum money. That feels pretty cool. Pie, pie, pie. Okay. So we have chi and we have pie. I should just uh, call that. Hey, what's up? Just need to save the game, Pop. I can I tell just... you where to get a little chi and a little pie. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Dad, not while I'm on the phone. Get some of that... Get... Go down to the club and get some of that young chicken. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, hey, man. Puddings and pendants. I love... I love both of those things. <laughs> what an oddly specific store. Yeah. Do you have any quills or sofas? He's like, no, get the fuck <laughs> out, dude. Must be outside your mind. Sounds great. No, I don't want to buy anything. Damn it. Fine. What do you think that conical plant is? Is that like an evergreen tree? Uh, good question. But I don't know. It looks like the the ever the Lego evergreen trees. Yeah, like the, the, the it's all just like circles. Yeah. On a rod. Circles on a rod is the name of my new album. It's not a bad name. Yes, I'd like to buy some pudding. It's also an accurate description of a car. Well, I, I guess circles on two rods. Or really, three rods. There's a lot of rods involved, is what we're saying. Yeah. Uh, earth Pendant. What's going on with this Earth Pendant? A lot of rods is the name of my new album. And <laughs> it's, uh... It, Rod Stewart helped me produce it. Alright, great. I want to sell some of this stuff, because this, this dude's uh, pudding restores a lot of uh, magic points. I feel like we should probably why have a shitload of that. Wait, so why do you- oh, you just need to get rid of crap. Okay. Yeah. I was just saying, you have all money, so... Give me some more of that pudding. Yeah. Let me get some of that pudding. Mm -hmm. Uh, feels good. What's hey. your favorite flavor of pudding? Uh... Normally I would say like a... Like a, a real chocolate, just because that's the thing I've had the most of. But I recently, mm -hmm. when I, I have after I have my wisdom teeth out, I bought a bunch of like banana cream pie pudding, and oh, it was really, really good. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say banana pudding's my favorite. Banana or like lemon. Yeah. I guess. I've never had tapioca, but it's always like right there next to the chocolate. But I'm not. Tapioca's good. I'm not willing to take oh, the risk. Oh. Also, uh, pistachio. I really like. I've never had pistachio pudding. I think I've had pistachio had... ice cream. Well, I mean... Pistachio ice cream is, like, really cold pistachio pudding. Yeah. Really cold, really sweet pistachio pudding. Pistachios, as a rule, are pretty dope, too. So I can see that pistachio pudding would probably be pretty awesome. Hey, what's up? I don't care for... I mean, I, I don't care for any sort of nut that you have to peel. Because... Uh, it's just too much work for the amount of food you get out of it. Don't touch that slime. Uh, I'm touching that slime. Hey, what's up? Don't. Ah! Oh. Okay, well, maybe touch that slime a couple of times. Alright, I'm gonna go Doesn't touch that slime. It. Hey, what's up? Ah! Hey, man. I'm, I'm really sorry about that, but, uh, hey, what's up? Ah! All right. You touch that slime, it. you're gonna get dys dysentery. <laughs> Watch out. Dog town. <laughs> I like these these signs. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! I, 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 it's I, magnificent. I, I want, that, I want that to be on. Looks like a. Is that a backpack? I think it's a planet. Like it's a little Saturn over there. Except it's covered Is in checkerboard. It... Is it in the water? 
Thank you for remembering He's... me. What? I want to answer that question. That's a legitimate question from a little kid. Is that little kid wearing a suit? No, he's wearing the rules. The question was, do I like to read comics or play games better? Yeah. Uh... I'd have to say play games, just because most comics leave me indifferent. Oh, there he is. Yep. Punch, gonna... that, punch that fucker right in the <laughs> mouth. <laughs> If this were a GTA game, I'd just roll up on him and crack him in the head with a bat. Like, <laughs> skip the cutscene. I don't want it. Uh, hey, man. Ah, Lars, let's play. Not even gonna yell like that, freak. Hey. Ah! The thing is, comic book stories are usually so shallow that I find them hard to get into. Uh... Even though, like, the art is cool. But games... I mean, you can you can be selective about about which games uh, you play. Because it's more of a commitment than reading a comic, you know? It takes a long time to play a game. I guess. I, I, just, I just never... I don't have anything against comics, but I, I was just never into them. I only have a few. I have a couple of... What? So, oh, Lars, what's going on with your eye, buddy? What are you doing? What What? Uh, what games do you like? Just generally? Uh, mostly shooters. I mean, like, board games. Oh, uh... I, I assume we're, I'm, we're talking in 1994 language here. Super Nintendo, man. Oh, wow, well, okay. You, you can choose from Super Nintendo or before, also. We also had an NES. Um, when I was little, I didn't much care for, for board games, because we didn't have any, any fun ones. So we had, like, we didn't have uh, Scrabble? Uh, I wasn't any good at it when I, at it when I was little. Uh... You didn't have, uh... What are some of the games? You didn't have Monopoly? We had Monopoly, but I have never enjoyed Monopoly, ever. Really? I, I actively dislike that game. You serious? I mean, you, you've never had fun with... Well, we ought to play Monopoly at some point. <laughs> no. I, I think you'd... I think you'd have fun with it if you played with people who, whom you found fun to play with. Maybe. I've only ever played Monopoly like three times. But every time it's just been like, ugh. I've played Monopoly <laughs> probably, probably 50 times. Dude. You know, I love- It's Buzz Buzz's tombstone. A bee he was not. A Christian, however. <laughs> a Man. bee he was not and now he's not much of anything <laughs> uh, depressing what's going on uh, he hey was guys. not a bee but now he and all the bees that ever were are undifferentiated Whoa. This dude... Sick. Can you your party? Yeah. So... It's just a room full of... Like, bird men, huh? Bird man! Yeah. This is where you go to... Stock up on bird guys. Hey, man. You just... Uh... He looks like he's a like a bodybuilder, and he's wearing like leotards or something. Yeah, he's just wearing like a bird mask, and he's from Hotline Miami. Dude, if this game became Hotline Miami, I'd get, I'd be amazed, and and take back everything I ever said about it. <laughs> 
Do you, do you ever? You bought that during the Steam sale, didn't you? No. Oh, you should play it. That game is bananas. I, 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 I'd be interested to see all the little like, like things that happen in that game, but I don't actually want to play through that game. Oh, I know hey, that man. kid. Your name is uh uh. Uh. What's your name again? Bill. What's that guy's name? I don't want to get something. rid of this. I, I don't wanna. Uh. What is he? Is he? Is he gonna give you a quest item? Probably. And there's a there's a. You. <sighs> you only have access to your inventory right now. Yeah. That's a weird little hitch right there. Whatever. This will only take a minute since we don't have to talk to any of these idiots again. Did you already talk to Porky? Yeah. <sighs> Pokey. Yeah. Is I also talked to Picky, but he didn't have anything useful to say. Picky, you little bastard. Hey, what's up? Sounds good. Let's go. Yes. No. Hang on to my phone. Damn it. What does the C pendant do? It protects you us from um fire attack. Wait. Let's... Oh. It does the same thing as this other thing. What? The earth the earth pendant and this but that the earth pendant. Wait, go back. Let's, okay, let's read carefully. So we've got fire, fire freeze, and flash. freeze, flash. And Earth is fire, freeze, and okay. Fuck it. Get rid of the C pendant. I want to hang on to it though because we only had one before, and we probably want to give it to somebody. Somebody send else on our team. Send it to uh, send it to the. Oh, we'll store we'll uh, store it with her, and maybe we'll be able to get at it later. Um. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, hey, Trixie, hang on to my herb for me. Later. I'm not gonna ask where you put all that stuff. You know, in her pocket. What the fuck's wrong with you? No. What the fuck's wrong with you? I said I wasn't gonna ask. <laughs> what were we talking about before this? Before we got over to the... <laughs> about adult checking cheese? Okay, great. About... Yeah, let's get back into that. <laughs> the, yeah. the rocket ride is <laughs> would just be a cherry picker. And how you can replace the two... Instead of tubes, it would just... Be a, a subway tunnel you took the tracks out of? <laughs> We're talking about why you couldn't just have an adult size Chuck E. Cheese. Because going into the tubes, that's. You're gonna build those tubes for people, for adults, and it's just gonna go sideways instantly. Because, like, day one you open the tubes, day two somebody gets murdered or raped in a tube, and it's just. Nope. Never again. Raped in a tube. Doesn't sound, doesn't sound very pleasant at all. I don't, yeah, I don't want any single part of that. Oh God, why would I wear this? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not what you're referring to. That's just where I ended back up. What? It, what? Wait, what? The last relevant conversation we had. Oh, you said yeah. what were we talking about before? <laughs> and then it all went completely sideways. Oh. We were talking about comics and uh, games, and you said you you never liked Monopoly, and that was I was like saying, "What?" Yeah, f Monopoly, dude. Ah! No, I love Monopoly. I've played probably fifty games of Monopoly. 
<laughs> this is the best enemy ever. <laughs> I like how small it is. Oh! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> As you said, this is the best enemy ever. It just keeps coming. <laughs> it's like that service you can buy where you get razor blades for life. And every week, they send you a little box of razor blades. Except instead of razor blades, it's enemies. And instead of shaving, you get to play Earthbound. I hate this service. <laughs> instead, of, instead of paying for it, you download it illicitly for free. <laughs> I, I, I've encountered the Electro Swoosh, and I don't feel too good about it. <laughs> I hit that weird electro eyeball in the face with a, a bat. Ow, dick. At least they're easy. Yeah. And they just vomit out experience like nobody's business. Yeah. You got 17,000 experience for that one guy. Let's check our stats. Yeah, how is the experience scaling anyway? Do, I, do you have any notion of how much it goes point, up every? We need 3.8 million experience to level up. No, that's how many we have total. We need 129k yeah. to level up. My bad. Uh, hey man. Can we just not know what this enemy is? It's a it's a French kiss of death. Well, that's that's kind of a letdown. I mean, so it's just a big mouth. I mean. What is this, the Rocky Horror Picture Show or something? Sounds good. Yeah! Have you ever seen that movie? No. I've, I've actually never seen that movie either. We need to watch that sometime. Apparently it has a- it has like a big cult following for some reason. Yeah. Surprise attack! So that's what we should do after this. We should watch, uh... The Rocky Horror Picture Show, and then watch Ghostbusters. Sounds good. In the meantime, I'm gonna punch this thing. Punch that UFO. Punch that freaking pink UFO. The That's fuck the worst. do you think you are? Yeah. Go back to Mexico. Wait, what? It's like the Mary Kay UFO. <laughs> Those aliens sold a whole lot of makeup. Ugh! I'm gonna give up the goods. This baseball cap sucks. I don't know why they want to give it to me. But I, don't, I feel like I shouldn't drop it. It's a quest item. You're not gonna be able to drop it. That, that's the kind of thing I can almost guarantee would be a quest item. Uh, they let me drop it. It's gone. Oh, Fuck oh well. Thing. Are you sure it wasn't equipable? It was, but it made our defense suck. Well, then you, you've, already, you've just gotten something better than that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh no, not these things again. Hey, what's up, Bobby? Didn't you, didn't you fight like a thousand of those things? Yes, I did. Where was that? Was that in the mall where we fought all those Bobbies? No, I, I had to grind in the mall because we were underleveled, but... Uh... It was a- it was a- the Fobbies were in like a hole in the ground or something. Mm. Oh, I hit him with the big guns. Take it! Uh. So do you think there's a nose monster and an ear monster as well? I have seen the ear monster. It is the ear, because ears are gross. A lot of body parts are gross in your... So you don't like ears, and you don't like teeth. And you wouldn't even want a pair of shoes made out of teeth. I want you to get the fuck out of my life forever. Because those <laughs> shoes were horrible. That's the worst pair of high heels that there could ever possibly be. And you don't think so, so I hope you get catch on fire. 
I would wear a pair of shoes made of teeth. No. And I would certainly, I would certainly eat off a dining room table inlaid with teeth. I think that people have had an adequate amount of time for that set in. And so I think everyone in the world will agree with me when I say fuck you. What were we talking about? Fuck you. Comics we and games, right? Uh, yes. Teeth. I like teeth. teeth. I like diplomacy. I want to play diplomacy. Remember diplomacy? I remember pl I played that at your place once. That, that yeah. got acrimonious in a hurry. Did it? It, it's I just like one it of those was... games that was real intense. Well, oh, give it, up any of like... this stuff. I don't care. Wait, what was in there? Well, yeah, what was even in the box? A magic tart. That doesn't sound very good. Wait, how do I get to that middle thing? What? Oh. Got to find all these question marks. Mr. Molecule. Did you ever have what was it? Was it called Capsella? Remember, it's kind of like an erector set, except it has plastic pieces and they have like motors in them and stuff. No, I don't. Capsella, cap, capsaicum. What was it called? Anyway, that's what that reminded me of. And speaking of games. Speaking of games, indeed. Did you ever have Mousetrap? No, but I... I always thought the game would look really neat on TV, but... I feel like playing it would be really boring. I had the game, but I never played it. But I, I, I used to just build the thing and, like, run it. It had, like, this, uh... What are they called? Uh, uh... Like a Rube Goldberg machine? Rube Goldberg machine. Type thing that... You just it did a bunch of crap and then I don't know you the thing came down at the end captured your your mouse but yeah like, I can't imagine like how do you win like the well like the game was was extremely simple it was like you just turn over the card and move that many spaces and keep doing that until it's basically like Candyland with an associated activity the the kind of, I can't stand and never could stand games that are sort of automatic like that. It's like there's no, you don't do anything. You just do what the card says. Yeah. I Wait, so why do you like was like that? What? Why do you like Monopoly? There, you, you have you have agency in Monopoly. The Monopoly is not about your ability to move around the board. It's about your ability to, to bargain and trade for properties. And then you just sort of like, it like plays out, you know? Don't you not have a choice? Don't you have to buy the properties you land on? No. Not the way I played. Did you play it right? Or did you play it wrong? Uh... uh... I'm, I, I can't verify that. But... <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you, you don't have to, I mean, you land on it, and you can just, you can just not buy it. I don't know about that, man. Well, and, 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 and even, the, even if you did have to buy it, you, uh, uh, it's all about trading. And you, like, once, uh, you know, if, if you can trade for a, a monopoly before anybody else has a monopoly, then you can, you know, accumulate a bunch of money at that point in the game. And, and then if you can acquire more properties, uh, you know, and, the, and, and at the end be the only guy with a monopoly on the board, you're like set. Because there's no reason you need to trade anymore. You're like, well, I have Mediterranean and Baltic and one of everything else. Yeah. So, fuck all of you. This, <laughs> we're just going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling until I win. But it's like an inevitability, and by that point, you just don't even play through the rest of the game. You just declare that guy the winner, and that's that. <laughs> you just declare that you own the police, and then have everyone else arrested. I run this town!
But yeah, I mean, m like, the actual dice part of Monopoly, like, moving around on the board, I would totally be down with, like, a computer just running that simulation. And, like, the trading being the only, only part of that game. Like, if you had a computer version of Monopoly, and it, and it just distributed properties to everybody, uh, in, like, an order, then, and you trade, like, and you sort of speculated on, or, uh, gambled on, on who was gonna get what properties and when, and that sort of thing. I'd be down with that. Huh. Also, Risk. Risk is baller. Is pretty fun, pretty fun game. I never played that as a child, though. I didn't play Risk until I was, uh, in, hi in high school, I guess. You no, I was in. Risk. I was, I was in middle in school. I was in like uh, probably eighth grade, seventh or eighth grade, or something like that. It's our nightmare. Uh... There it is. I feel like we can't get away from this fucking statue. It's always in here, hanging out. Isn't this the same statue that we fought in uh, Moonside? <laughs> That sound, I love that sound effect. Uh, that do -do 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 -do. Yeah, it sounds, I want that to be my ringtone. In fact, anything out of this game would make a pretty cool ringtone. Yeah, this game's got a lot of good sound in it. Oops. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, so I'm just gonna keep attacking this thing until something yeah. happens. You're doing damage to it, right? So, whatever. Yeah. Now we're out of side points. Mm. I feel Damn like it. If you're if you're running out of, of stuff, you're probably uh. Doing it wrong. Is there an item that you can use on it? So what? What were the? What was this statue called? The money, money statue. Yeah. Okay. So, what was its function? It. Car painter oh, had it, and then it was in Moonside, and you, you destroyed it. Oh my God. Hang on. I think there's. I think you need to use an item on it. I just did, and it kicked our ass. Hmm. You have to use the right item on it. None of our other items will have any effect on it. I'm gonna throw my. Take my money! Okay, keep hitting it. King it. Put on a shoe made of teeth and kick it. I refuse to do do that. Ah! This sucks. I can't use the big one. Maybe you're supposed to lose. I refuse Maybe to. Maybe one of those that. battles. I hate that shit. See, you just recovered a bunch of. Ah! Dude, this has got to be a supposed to lose fight. I mean, damn it! I I feel like it must be a supposed to lose fight, but then again, if it's not, well, we'll have to go back a ways, which will be really annoying. The problem is, if it is a supposed to lose fight. It really sucks that we're using up all our pudding now. Yeah. I'm sure we'll have another opportunity to get it back. We can always, well, hoof, yeah. we can always hoof it back to the beginning area. 
And we're not exactly short on cash, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, we have, or we had, before we bought all this pudding, as much money as one can possibly carry. Yeah. And there's more, the more of that the, uh, this has got to be. There's nothing I can do now. Just sit back and take it. Yep. Like a bitch. Yep. That's all she wrote. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. This, I guess we don't know what to do then. Hey, Dad. Nah. Ah, I guess we just gotta hit him harder. Slip in this dude's cash. You wanna try one more one more time today? Or you wanna save it for next time? Uh, my timer is at 45 seconds and counting down. So I'm gonna load up on pudding and walk, get as close to that thing as we can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll let it we'll let it simmer for a while. Trying to figure out what we did wrong. I probably just need to use not like save up all the uh, PP I can on the way in and then just hit him with the uh, the Psy Omega like right from the outset just hit him with the, the heavy guns right up front if only our other party members could get inside our mind yeah it's weird that they're not here I assume we're gonna have to like remember who they are in a little bit and then they'll join us we have to we have to defeat the evil inside our own brain first. I get it, let's I'll get as as far as the uh, the teleport. Are we are you sure that you explored every corner of this map? Pretty sure. Hey, uh, what's over to? Hold up, there's a, there's a new tombstone over here. It's your tombstone. Lars' courage. He fought well and died. Oh. oh. Uh, th some people on the street uh, who watch this will now find out that I have a friend called Brian. I just got a Skype message. Who's Brian? S some internet person. Just, just an internet friend? Yeah. Play games with them or something? Yeah. From time to time. We should get Brian on the show. He's from Maine. People from Maine are welcome. No, they're not. People from Maine are the worst. A goddess band. It's not as bad. Uh. Not quite as bad as people from Vermont. Jeez Louise, people from Vermont. What is a goddess band? Oh, and don't get me started about with people from Oregon. <laughs> Bunch of fuckheads from Oregon. Man. Sick. Does our audience know where we are? Possible. I don't know. I don't think we've ever brought it up. Uh, I live in North Carolina. Where are you from? <laughs> I, I'm not gonna answer. Okay. I'm gonna let them figure it out. Just based on all the places that you disdain? No, I mean, in previous episodes, I've talked explicitly about, like, things that are around. So. Okay. It's like a game. It's like a treasure hunt. What, what, do, we, what do they win if they guess? Wrong. They get 10 points. Sick. First one, 21 wins. But if you go over, you bust. Start back over at nothing. French kiss of death sucks. You know, how true. 
French kiss does suck. <laughs> you know, Doctor Love just doesn't translate, man. You try to try to put that in, in fr au français, and it's just doesn't come together. Doctor Amour just nothing for it. <laughs> Damn it! It is the French word for doctor, doctor. Oh, we haven't seen that here before. So, I wonder... Nice. I wonder if it's gonna... I mean, it's conscious of the fact that we died once on that boss. So, I wonder if it's gonna add a tombstone every time we die. No, that, that was for our courage, which is the flying man. Which we just now died as well. Oh. Uh, Maybe that's the key. Maybe we have to make it to the boss with the flying man. God, that would suck. Alas, it is no longer possible. You can't go get another flying man? I think so, but I don't wanna. Just wanna get to that boss again and kick the hell out of him. Hey, ask yourself this. Would you rather get to the boss and find out you need the flying man, or get the flying man now and find out you didn't need him later? The former. Okay. Then proceed. <laughs> ah, dick. Alright, I'm gonna beat these eyeballs to death and then we're gonna bounce. God, this thing's doing a lot of damage. Have cried. These eyes have seen a lot of love, but they're never gonna see another one like I had with you. I think if you sing one more word of that song, we're gonna get sued by whoever that is. You can't get sued for singing songs. You, you, you'd have you to use the for... actual. You'd have. I can you use the actual recording, yeah, but you can sing songs. I don't... You totally like, can. I... People have been sued for singing "Happy Birthday" in like well, a corporate dude, setting. There is karaoke. Yeah, but when like, you buy a karaoke a thing. thing, you're buying a license to to use it in that way. That music is licensed. Like if you buy a karaoke machine, you are buying. You are also buying a pack of licensed music that is licensed for for performance in that manner. I had a friend who had a karaoke machine. It's just a mach It's just like a thing with microphones. Yeah, but it comes you know? with like a bunch of music built into it. Wait, so you buy a karaoke machine, and all of a sudden you can sing songs? You can sing the songs that you have the licenses for. Yes. And usually when you buy, like, the software for the karaoke machine that displays the lyrics and such, and plays the music, it will also have songs with it. It's like when you buy Rock Band or something. You know, like, the, the Rock Band, whoever makes, makes harmonics went out and licensed a bunch of music to put in their game. So that you can do the stuff you need to do with that. Same thing. I, I think it would be really difficult to establish identity between... Uh, you singing a song and a recording of a song. I, I like, don't think it's that like, difficult because people totally get sued by the people who at one time owned the rights to Happy Birthday for singing Happy Birthday without licensing Happy Birthday. This is a thing that has happened. I, 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 I would need to know more about the circumstances under which... Because if you're not profiting in any way from it, then how could you how could you oh, even claim crap. damages? What? Wait. I I got hit in the back because I was janking the thing around. This conversation um, is not for the show. Catch it. I think it's pretty interesting. I don't know. Our, our audience needs to know. Don't whether we sing songs whether we can... while being recorded on the internet. What if you change one word in the song? That's not enough. What if you change two words? That's probably not enough. What if you don't change any words, but you sing 
all the notes in the key above. Probably not enough. There's probably specific rules that dictate it, because there's... That's how, like, sampling works. That's why Puff Daddy doesn't get sued. Because there's, there's like, specific limits on how much you can sample. Hmm. From a song or recording. Anyway, we'll catch up with you people Okay. Right into the show, if you, if you are a... Uh, Intellectual property attorney? Yeah, some sort of fancy law degree. Right in. But bear in mind, Can't... a tall, cold P. glass of Three eight three eight. Don't need no woman doctor. For Hoban, Connecticut. One zero five. I don't know. What's in Connecticut? Whatever. Goodbye. Email. We have... We have a Google account, right? Glass at gmail.com. I think it's... I don't know. I don't think that's right. Yeah. That, no, that works. We have a Google account. I don't think that's what it's called, though. I think it might be Glass oh. Productions. Who are oh. you? We're leaving. 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 We're not... We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> We're leaving. Um. <laughs> we 